So, um, it was a, there's a story that was, um, that lots of you are probably aware of, um, but it was, um, it was sort of purposefully forgotten in the U.S. and still is. Um, but, uh. When all the all the refugees came from Ireland, um, which they called immigrants, uh, in the 1840s, they uh, were if they were young men, they were handed a uniform and a gun, and to co told to go kill uh, other Catholics, and uh, <clears throat> who happened to be Mexican, and uh, and uh, they got they got down there and. and and they didn't like what they saw, and um, thousands of them deserted from the army and became Mexicans themselves. But 200, two of them, including a bunch of uh, Germans and Poles and a couple of folks from Wales, took desertion a step further. My name is John Ryan. I'll have your ear open. I left my dear home in Ireland. It was death, starvation, or exile. When I got to America, it was my duty to go. Enter the army and slog across Texas to join in the war against Mexico. And it was there in the pueblos and hillsides that I saw the mistake I had made. Part of a conquering army with the morals of a bayonet blade. And there amidst all these poor dying Catholics, screaming children, the burning stench of it all, myself and 200 Irishmen decided to rise to the call. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, we fought on the Mexican side. Lovely. We marched neath the green flag of St. Patrick, emblazoned with Erin Goldra. Right with the harp and the shamrock, and the Vertad para Republica. Just 50 years after Wolf Tone, 5,000 miles away, the Yanks called us a legion of strangers, and they can talk as they may. But from Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We fought them in Matamoros, where their volunteers were raping the nuns. In Monterey and Cerro Gordo, we fought on as Ireland's sons. We were the red-headed fire of freedom amidst these brown-skinned women and men. Side by side, we fought against tyranny, and I dare say we'd do it again. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the next Side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side.
change your battles. Should have us go, was the last. Overwhelmed by the cannons from Boston, we fell after each mortar blast. Most of us died on that hillside at the service of the Mexican state. So far from our occupied homeland, we were heroes and victims of fate. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, we fought on the Mexican side. That was beautiful.